you come back with the procedures, I take it, correct? That is correct. You don't need any else for that with you? Um, no. Okay. okay. That's right. Please raise your right hand. You swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give in this matter will be the truth. And if you please have a seat. You can say your full name and spell your last for the record. Jane McDermott, M C D E R M O T T. And how are you employed? I am employed as a parking enforcement officer. For the city of King. City of King yes. And for how long have you been so employed? Three years. And generally your duties are to what? To enforce parking. <laughs> and um, that entails you to be on your on your feet walking downtown in the city of King, is that right? Correct. And drawing your attention to July 25th of this year, 2015, at about 3.11 in the afternoon and shortly before then, were you on duty as a key parking enforcement officer? Yes, I was. And at about that time, do you recall um, seeing anyone that prompted and seeing something that prompted you to make a call to, to the key police department? Yes, I did. Um, Can you describe what you observed? I was walking on the west side of Main, of Main Street, walking north, and um, Gary Ian was trying to get in front of me to do his Robin Hooding. He was on a bicycle, and he was riding on the sidewalk, and there was a um, citizen that was walking beside me on my right. And as Garrett was trying to get in front of me, it startled the citizen, and he angrily asked Garrett um, by saying, you on the bike, would you please get off your bike? We have an ordinance. Um, and Gary ignored him, and then he, the citizen looked at me and asked me if there was, in fact, an ordinance. And I said yes, and he said, well, don't you have contact with the police department so that they can do something? And I said, yes, sir, I do, and I got on my radio and dispatched Keene um, to report that the citizen had asked um, that I call, and in that time, um, Fenton Moore got the call, so Moore got the call, and he um, radioed me to find out my location. Okay, I'm going to stop right there for a second. So when you first saw Mr. Ian on the sidewalk, you were also, you said, on the sidewalk, you were on the west side of Main Street going north, is that what you were? Correct. For that? And um, what, do you remember what building you were next to um, at the time? Uh, we were right next to, um, it was between Timoleons and Miranda's Veranda. There's a little incline there, and that's where we were walking up that at that time. And you were on the sidewalk, on the cement sidewalk, as was Mr. Ian? Yes. And he was on, do you remember the type of bike? Are you able to describe it, or is it a um, bike? Just, I don't know if it's like a mountain bike, or, or uh, it's not one of the little bikes that they use for, for um, Tricks and stuff. It's a regular bicycle with two wheels and a seat and you know, correct. <laughs> and um, you said he was on the bike. Can you describe what he, he was actually? Was he pedaling? Was he sitting on the on the seat with his body? Can you describe what specifically you observed? Well, it was a little like I said. It was a little bit going uphill. So he was sitting directly on his bicycle. And he was trying to get in front of me, so that required him to, to pedal. And it startled the person next to me, so he was trying, because of the, he was going to try to get in front of me. Okay. Was he moving at, uh, what, what type of pace would you describe him? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't like super fast, but it was enough so that as he was passing, it startled the man next to me. And um, did you continue to observe? And first of all, do you recognize Mr. Ian in the courtroom? I do. Where is he seated? He's right here. Hold well, the record like the witness. I understand. Thank you. And um, did you continue to observe him while you were waiting Officer Ward's arrival? I did because he stayed near me so that he could rob him. But, um, and I kept in touch with um, Officer Moore. Well, Officer Moore kept in touch with me to find out where um, my location was because it took him a little while. He was on other things <laughs> and to get um, to us. So every once in a while he would check to find out where I was. 
did you continue to see Mr. Ian traveling, riding on his bicycle until Austin arrived? I did. And specifically, where did you stop? We had made, we had made our way around Central Square, um, and I was, my intentions were to go to City Hall because I had a I had to pick the vehicle up to do another job. And um, so uh, I kind of slowed my pace and let Officer Moore know where we were. And then um, when Officer Moore finally got to Garrett, Garrett was head, at that point, we were on the other side of the street, so we were on the east side, and he was heading south. And Officer Moore stopped Garrett and he was on the corner of Roxbury Street and Central Square. And then I went on my way. Right. So for the entire time that you observed him up to the point where you had contact with Officer Moore, you observed him to be riding his bicycle on the sidewalk? Correct. And when he was um, by the meters, he would then push it with his feet. But when he was maneuvering to get by me, to you know, because as we would walk and he would stop, I would get ahead of him again. So he'd have to come out onto the, um, by me and get around me, and at that point he'd pedal and then he'd get back over and push it with his feet again. And when you saw him pushing it with his feet, was his, his um, body still seated on the um, bicycle seat? Yes. Just pushing it with his two feet? Yes. So he was essentially straddling the bicycle and pushing it with his feet? Correct. Okay. And did you have a conversation with Mr. Ian about what he was doing? Um, he did ask me if um, when he realized that I had called um, for the police to come, he asked me if I would um, tell somebody in a wheelchair that um, they wouldn't be able to ride on the sidewalk because he explained to me that he had sprained his ankle and was unable to walk. Did, did you see him? Did you see his ankle? I did notice the brace that he had on one of his ankles. I don't remember now which one it was, but I do remember seeing the brace on his ankle. And that ankle brace didn't prevent him from actually pedaling on his bike? No. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do you have any questions for the witness? You identified that you were familiar with the defendant, in this case myself, prior to the incidents on this day, correct? I don't know if I indicated that before, but yes. And have you previously observed um, the defendant riding a bicycle downtown? Yes. Has it been a concern for you in the past? At times, I do what has happened in the past. Here he is. Um, so, in the past, have you called the police about um, myself riding a bicycle? Objection to relevance. What, what's the relevance of any past calls? Um, I'd say it's, uh, it establishes what motivated uh, there to be a call in this instance, which has been established. She, she can answer. Sorry, can yes, you answer. Yes, get again. Um, have you ever called the police or been felt the need to do that same, take that same action in the past? Um, actually, with you or with anybody? Um, sure, I'll ask about myself specifically. Um, there was only one other time I called, and it was after this particular incident. Were there any other interactions between yourself and myself earlier in the day? I don't recall. I. I don't remember. Um, do you often engage in dialogue with bystanders relative to what my behavior may be on the streets of Kingston? I don't know. Just thanks. Right. Right. Officer McDermott, are you familiar with the bicycle sidewalk statute? In Keene, the city ordinance. I 
don't, I've never read it. I've just seen the, the signs, and I know that it's an indication of the downtown area. Are you aware that it is legal to ride a bicycle in a great portion of the downtown area, but only not in specific sections for the city ordinance? I'm not familiar with it, no. Did you make any comments about the safety of my bicycle operation on that day? I don't believe so. Uh, might you have stated that it was safer for me to be bicycling in a Oh, I did. I told you that you should go, you should go with the traffic and then also on Washington Street that was a bike, um, a bike lane. Um, you identified there as being a pedestrian who you identified as startled by myself on a bicycle. Um, approximately how close would you say I came to the pedestrian? I don't know how close you came and I don't know if it was relevant to you being close, but he was standing beside me and at my peripheral vision I saw him kind of jump as you passed. and. That's, and, and I could tell that at that point he got angry because he was, you heard how he spoke to you. Um, okay, so it sounds like he may have been startled by something that was not any sort of immediate danger to him? Just the speed that you were passing at him, I think, startled him. Because it was unexpected. Okay, but it was a speed that you described as, as it wasn't like super fast. No, it wasn't like you were racing down the sidewalk. You were, but it was faster than people were walking, and that's what they expect to see: is other people walking. Um, did you feel compelled to file a report to the police about this incident based on your interactions with that civilian? He asked me to, and I did. So yes. Um, do you feel that he was in any way damaged by my actions? No. Um, you identified that at times you said uh, my speed was such, even though it wasn't super fast, but such that I would have been required to have pedaled. Do you recall specifically observing me pedaling the bike on that day, on the sidewalk? Yes. And specifically on the sidewalk and not in the road or in a way there or an alleyway? I I don't recall you being in the alleyway. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what you're, what you're asking. Um, to be more specific, can you de definitively identify a location on downtown Keene on Main Street where you observed myself pedaling, uh, seated upon and pedaling a bicycle on the sidewalk? Yes, and you actually had to have pedaled. You, you were pedaling when you were beside me because we were going uphill. Um, is that because you observed me pedaling or you yes. estimated based on the speed at which I was traveling? I saw you pedaling. Ms. McDermott, do you feel that it is safe for a bicyclist to be uh, bicycling in the street as legally prescribed? Why is that important? Yeah. To determine whether, whether you were operating or uh, uh, driving a uh, bicycle on a sidewalk? Um, well, since Ms. McDermott uh, identified herself as having uh, given me advice upon that day about bicycling in the road, I would like to ask if she feels that it is actually safer to operate a bicycle there as opposed to. <coughs> I guess the question is whether it's safe or whether it's legal. So um, she has not answered. It's, it's not relevant. I get your point. You stated that there was some time between when officer when you made the initial call to uh, the police and the time between Officer Moore arriving. Mm -hmm. Approximately how long did you say that was? about having noticed that you had called the police about the bicycling, correct? 
No, I, I said I suspect it was because you knew I had called. I, I think that's what I said. Okay. Did I make, uh, upon you realizing that I had some knowledge that the police were coming to uh, perhaps issue some sort of ticket, did I make any attempt to leave the area? No. Um, are you familiar with the Americans with Disabilities Act? Um, what I would say the, the relevance is that that act is federal legislation does still pertain um, to the actions of all people within the United States, so it still governs, uh, I would say in some ways governs the, the policy making upon which the city of Keene may or may not be violating. Um, well, federal a specific law. provision that you think they violated? It's possible, yes. But we have one shown today. Um, oh, the city of, no. It might, it might have been relevant, but if you can't point to a specific violation, no evidence of that. On the date in question, you observe.